Arsenal against Manchester City is on. Four minutes played so far, still scoreless. And of course, as Arsenal sympathizers, we are very optimistic this particular afternoon that we're going to pull a mouth-watering surprise that many people don't expect. Of course, it is being tipped as a one-sided affair. Everyone looking forward to Man City's, you know, towering victory. But you see, anything can happen. Sugar Ray is still with us, and so is Ken. Good to see you guys. Let's uh, delve into what is happening. Cristiano Ronaldo's <laughs> return to Man United. Yeah. Did you expect it? No, I didn't expect. Uh, before yesterday, I didn't know. Uh, I, did, I didn't even imagine Cristiano will make a comeback. But things moved very fast. I, uh, when we started hearing rumors that he might be going to City, of course, it's not it's not the best news for us to hear as Man United diehards, but I think it's the right it's the right move. We have a big name in Cristiano. He's a winner. He's been there before. He has done. He has owned everything in football. So he's going to his impact in that team is going to be major, and I don't see why United cannot be considered as serious contenders for all the titles in every competition they are involved in. At 36 years old, yeah. is he still Cristiano Ronaldo we've uh, gotten used to at Real Madrid, at Juve to some extent, but at Juve he was 34-35. Yeah. Right now, can he bang in goals like 40 per season for mm. English Premier League only? Now, I, th I think we'll get to see the Ronaldo who was at Juve still, you know, still get a good amount of goals, almost 30. And still be an active runner you know he they, they say that he has the body of a 25 26 year old <laughs> he takes good care of care of himself so and also for him to come back to the premier league wanting a bigger challenge it's 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 really amazing because we've seen other guys when they hit that five that six that's when they start moving to italy or the united states but him is coming back to a man united team that wants to challenge for all the titles and he should be really gunning for all of them because their squad depth right now is it's it's almost, uh, you can compare it to cities or Liverpool. So right now, United have a really big squad, especially going forward. And someone was saying that this is the best ever signing for Man United since that era of Man United signing Cristiano Ronaldo from Sporting Lisbon. <laughs> is that true that ever since this is the best ever, Jugare? Uh, I, I believe it's one of the best, uh, considering the kind of impact uh, the signing has. Uh, it's really one of the best, but I believe uh, now Ronaldo is more mature. He's using more of his head, not his physics. So I believe the impact he's going to have in that team, and especially working with a serious striker like Cavani, I believe, and then now the kind of creativity that we have in the midfield with the likes of Bruno Fernandes, Paul Pogba, we have Sancho in the wing. If you bring those crosses, Ronaldo will help them. Cavani can help them. So I believe goals are not, it's not going to be one of the problems that Man United will be having. So we really need to work. Uh, I think center bank is where we had a problem. Again, we have a serious signing in Verane. So I don't see, I don't see any area where we have weakness which you can say might cost the team. Although I believe uh, in terms of holding midfielder, is where maybe they might need a bit of reinforcement, but I believe the team itself is compact enough and uh, it can deliver. Personally, I'm looking forward to the bashing and banter <laughs> that Man United will receive when they lose a game against uh, a little known <laughs> Premier League side with Cristiano Ronaldo inside the match. So, what might have contributed this man to make a return and, you know, uh, don't opt for the team that we all knew that he will join maybe city yeah. alex ferguson intervention yes is I there any possibility that it might have been critical yeah I, th I think that's it because you know ferguson was one of those managers who really took rivalries and loyalty on a serious level and even put it to some of his players who who got that from him um the class of 92 those guys they really got that from him about loyalty and uh when obviously when he saw that Ronaldo, his greatest uh, product uh, from from Man United was going to City, he was obviously shocked and had to call him. I I, I read that he called him, he convinced convinced him to sign for United and uh, not for City because that would have been a di disgrace to to whatever he was trying to do with him. 
and he made the right decision at the end. And, and you, you just go through social media, you look at all the current United players, they're really excited to have Cristiano in the team. Everyone was posting pictures of him. They really wanted a guy like this. You know, it's a huge moral booster to the whole team. And it looks like my hopes this particular afternoon are doomed to fail because Ilke Gundogan <laughs> has already scored a goal on seventh minute for Manchester City against Arsenal. They are playing at home, right? Mm, yeah, City are City. the home team. Yep. And you know how City can get marauding <laughs> <laughs> in the presence of their supporters. Do we do we do we expect a, a score <laughs> that is embarrassing here? No, I may I believe that what is important is the three points. Uh, and uh, when you look at uh, the two teams, I think uh, considering that uh, City started losing and they are the defending champion in their first match in the league, I believe they are more serious, they are more focused, and uh, they have much, much deeper depth than Arsenal. Uh, and I don't think, I don't, I don't expect that uh, the three points or any, anything less than three points from City because I believe they are more serious and they know also with the kind of signings that uh, United has done, what Chelsea has done, what Liverpool has. I believe they know you don't lose these kind of matches and you really need to pick these points as fast as possible so that when it comes to those big matches, when you're playing those big teams, then you are in a safe place where, where if you don't get the three points, you can get one. If you lose, it knows that it's not a disaster. But now I don't know. It's a, I don't know. You know we like this banter between Man United and Arsenal fans, but now Arsenal seems to be playing like minos, those small teams, which is no. It looks weird, uh, and it's I don't know. Those the Arsenal fans who are diehard now. I don't know how they are feeling because they don't look very motivated. Because even them, it's like they're not so hopeful. First, it's the first time that Arsenal is missing from European scene. They don't have any European engagement this year. And then now, locally, where now you thought they are going to focus 100% in the local league, and then they have started very badly. So I don't, I don't know how it will be, our engagement with the Arsenal fans, but I believe that it's the only, the only hope they might have was to, to try and now, we, formerly we used to talk about top four. They used to take for top four as a, maybe their trophy. Now top six is a problem. And uh, when you were off you guys were talking about how Mikel Arteta might not survive the entire season. Ken, why do you think he will get fired? Is it because of a string of poor results at the <laughs> helm? Yeah, the poor results. And I, I, I also like the signings he made. I, I don't think there are signings which are going to really improve that team. You know, uh, when, when you really want to compete with the top six, you have to behave like a top six club and splash the money. Everyone else can do that, but Arsenal really, they were given the chance, they've spent almost 150 million on three players who really <laughs> are not world class. They are still young, they're not going into a team full of world class, they're no supers, there's no, they're no serial winners. When you look at guys like Lukaku coming into Chelsea, they're coming to win the Premier League. They went to Inter to win Serie A, they did it, they've come to win the Premier League. Cristiano Grealish moved to win the Premier League, but... Uh, they are good players, guys like they signed Lokonga, who was a great talent. Many clubs were looking at him, but they were signing him to anchor that midfield, which again showed a uh, lack of experience at times. And you bring a more inexperienced player in, and also they signed the, the left back Tavares, where they have Carantini. Those signings will not improve Arsenal. Arsenal needed to go for, a, for proper established uh, 26, 27 year olds who are coming to. To, to help the team move back into top six first and then back to the Champions League. But that won't be the case. And Mikel might end up losing his job because of the, 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 the players available to him, actually. Yeah. And away from Premier League, let's discuss about UEFA Champions League draw happened in midweek. Barcelona and Bayern are in the same pool and so is Manchester City and their <laughs> French money back compatriots, PSG. Mm. After the departure of Lionel Messi from Barcelona, nowadays people, people tend not to, you know, see them as favorites for the yeah. <laughs> European club competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially now they have Bayern who have really done nothing with their squad. They only had quality and Barca have lost Lionel Messi, someone who, you know, when you look at the rest, the remaining guys, Piquet, Busquets, 
Alba, there are three aging guys, but the rest of the other players are new and haven't won a lot of trophies, you know. They're still a young squad uh, with gelling and Bayern are just experienced, uh, you know, monsters. They might go through them again, but uh, that, 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 was a great, that was the draw everyone wanted to see, the, the big teams playing against big teams, Man City versus PSG especially. And this time United got lucky, lucky in the draw. <laughs> we didn't draw a big, a really big team. We, we, we only have to get past Villarreal, Atalanta. It was a better draw than last season's, but obviously the eyes will be on City, PSG, and uh, Barcelona, Bayern. Yeah. What's your group of death amongst all the pools? Mm, I don't know. The one for Bayern and the one for PSG looks com very competitive. But uh, again, now those two teams, you expect them to go through. <laughs> you, don't, you don't expect any of those to not make it through. So I believe uh, things will get hot in the next stage, where now when you get to the knockout phase, uh, there are teams you don't want to meet uh, the likes of PSG. PSG are the favorite this season, especially with Messi. Messi, you know, used to look at his name and you sometimes you, you, you decide to misspell it uh, knowingly and call him Messiah. Because the, that guy is special. There is no doubt. As much as I support Man United, I know Messi. Messi is class, class uh, with uh, Ronaldo. Memphis Depay, the Dutchman, yeah. after joining Barcelona, said that he hoped to meet Messi so that at least they could get to know yes. each other, mingle <laughs> and talk. But during his first training session. That was when Messi was appearing to beat goodbyes to his former teammates and leave. It's very unfortunate. He really disappointed some of those. And uh, you also know Kun Aguero has also gone to Baka. And he was saying that uh, he felt like also coming out if Messi is leaving. He, I think most of people are attracted by Messi. Most contributing factor for him to join Barcelona was to play might with have Messi. been Messi. To play with Messi. So Messi now playing at PSG with the other stars who are there, the likes of uh, Mbappe, the likes of Neymar. I think it does, it's like what we used to have with the Real Madrid, the Galacticos. Those are the big stars, although there are some concerns that Mbappe might leave and join Real Madrid. But I believe this season, I think it's PSG to lose. As much as I support Man United, you have to appreciate what PSG has done with their monies. They have collected all the best players, tried to put them together. The problem is, Pochettino will be able to make them gel and play as a team and get the right results so that uh, at least they are able to win that trophy, which they have spent so much money trying to look for. Someone was saying that there is much depth uh, inside PSG squad, but whatever they're lacking in now is the manager to... You know, <laughs> yeah, he has not proven himself for that level. Yeah, yeah. Uh, those players, because they seem to have sealed all the loopholes in almost every department. In defense, bringing in Sergio Ramos, mm -hmm. and uh, in midfield they brought who? Uh, Gini Final down from yes. Liverpool. Yeah. And now attacking wise, they are <laughs> very sharp. But yeah. now news of Kylian Mbappe leaving PSG to join Real Madrid. Does the you know, Frenchman wants to be a star of his own. He do doesn't want to live in the shadows of other players. Yeah, I think wherever you go, any club, you'll always be in the shadow of Messi or Ronaldo. You know, <laughs> if you go to Real Madrid, the, you, you can't really replace what Ronaldo did. This, Mbappe is a great player, he is, but I don't think he can he can hit the same heights as Ronaldo did because also the guys Ronaldo had in that team. Most of them are, have aged right now. Most of them are almost done. Guys like Ramos have left. Modric and Cruz, I think they, they only have a few years left at Real. Then they go. So he, he, he really has to work extra hard for him to hit the heights of Ronaldo at Real Madrid. And also for him to leave PSG where they have a chance to win everything. You know, They have the best squad. Every, every manager wants a squad like PSG. They have the yeah. best squad in Europe right now. And you want to leave, I don't think it will be a right decision for him. He still has a year left. He can go for that year and then move clubs. But right now, I, I, if I were him, I would stay at PSG, go the season with Messi and see how it goes. Ferran Torres has scored the second goal for Manchester City. <laughs> 12th minute as we speak, City leading by two goals to nil. 
against Arsenal. Oh my goodness. Yes. This is expected to be a landslide. No wonder Ken, when I asked him <laughs> yesterday about his availability this afternoon, because I knew <laughs> as a football enthusiast, maybe he will be catching an action. He said, no, 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 that one is expected in terms of his, its outcome. Yeah. Sugar. It seems it's pouring goals. This is bad. Huh? Uh, because now it means now you really has no have to now try and maintain that score to be respectable. It's not about winning or getting a result of this match. It's trying to maintain the score being respectable because otherwise City can easily give you high five or six. Mm -hmm. And uh, this weekend I saw Bayern scoring 12 goals in a match. And when you concede those many goals, uh, you cannot be competing at the big, big names of EPL and you are being hammered 6-5. But it's very easy for City to beat you 6 if you are, if you are not careful. Otherwise, they really need to... I don't know, but the problem with uh, Arsenal, they want to play good football, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best like City. And they don't have the, that squad which can be able to do that. So I think it's going to be tough for them. They need to shut a bit so that they minimize the number of goals they're going to concede. Uh, they are going to have their, you know, they are in relegation zone. I think they're number 19 in the league at the moment. Uh, they don't, they are not going to come out of there in the next two, three matches. So it's a problem. It's a, uh, we, they need to maintain, keep this score the way it is or no, if they have to concede, they concede just one more, but it's not good. It is a packed day as far as English Premier League is concerned because several matches are lined up this particular afternoon. City, as we speak right now, currently leading by two goals against Arsenal, something that probably was expected. Other matches <laughs> that are expected to happen, of course, later on at the tail end, Liverpool will be playing yes. host to Chelsea in what is expected to be a pulsating clash. My friend Wanjala Shundu, who is an Arsenal diehard, has just gotten to studio very late and is a Chelsea supporter. Oh. You know nowadays when you confuse <laughs> someone for an Arsenal supporter, they might sue you for, <laughs> that like, is. Like, for defamation. <laughs> <laughs> of course, let's take a short break, then we will come back as we wind up the show at 3 o'clock. Fadili Atmani, my director, can allow me to do this. Mm -hmm.